afternoon, everyone. Thanks very much for attending this afternoon. Um, I know Ray Mears is on as well, so it's great to see so many people over here. Um, my name is Jess and I work for Interaction. We're a very young, dynamic and exciting company. Um, some of you may have heard of us. We're based on the Isle of Wight and we're specialists in active leisure. Um, so basically, I went to college, um, ended up going to university, completing work experience, and then I'm going to tell you about my current job role so far. When I was 16, um, I did travel and tourism at Stafford College. Um, it was an ABCE, and, which is equivalent to two A-levels. Um, towards the end of the second year, everyone started to like go to uni, and I hadn't really thought about what I was going to do. Um, and I did have a little panic. And I went to see the careers lady, and I decided to specialise in tourism, and I picked adventure tourism, which three, four years ago um, you know, was something a bit different, a bit new. I decided to go to the University of Derby Buxton. As soon as I went to look at the campus, I just instantly fell in love with it. It was like perfect. It's proper out in the Peak District, and it was just perfect for the kind of course that I wanted to do. Um, I chose to do a joint honours programme, so I combined adventure tourism with outdoor recreation. And this was, um, it was brilliant because you got to tailor make your degree and pick and choose different modules, and you could make it into something that you wanted it to be. Um, with Buxton, it was just a small developing uni, so it was a chance as a student to get amongst it and, you know, like really shape the, shape the uni and get involved in everything. Um, different types of modules that we studied, for adventure tourism, there was like the philosophy, the theories and the knowledge. Um, and then with adventure tours, with outdoor recreation, sorry, it was much more the practical side of things. So the canoeing, the kayaking, the rock climbing. Um, I wasn't really the greatest at those kinds of things, like skill-wise, but it was just, I just loved being outdoors and the chance to, you know, go and get a degree while doing something that you're actually interested in. Um, it was the perfect opportunity. I then went on to study um, for my dissertation, experiential education, which is something I'm really passionate about. And my dissertation, it was about um, how influences in your childhood um, and what that makes you grow up to believe in. Um, when I was little, like, my nan and granddad used to take me out walking and things like that, and my granddad was in the army, so we'd all have like, the ration packs and go camping. And that was something that was like, installed in me from a child. Um, my mum used to take me and collect conkers and twigs and things like feathers and make pictures. Um, and to me, that's something that's really important, and that leads into why I do my job today. Um, because I want to have that, you know, educational impact on children. Um, one of the great things about the University of Derby, um, the Buxton campus, not just its location and like the subjects, but also its lecturers, they're just, they're so knowledgeable. Um, and one in particular, his name was Duncan, and he really inspired me, um, and I wanted to do well, and like he really motivated and encouraged me. Um, because it is such a small uni, you get to know everyone, so you, like, you, just, you just kind of know everyone in the town. And again, with the lecturers, you have that great um, relationship. Um, so in the first summer holidays for, uh, whilst at uni, I went to work for PGL in Wales as an activity instructor, and that was at one of their ponting sites. Um, we did all the things, so we had the towers, the raft building, all those kinds of activities. Um, but then I saw my friend who was working, doing similar activities and a little bit more specialised, and he was working abroad, and I thought, well, I'd like to go where the sunshine is. So I looked into that. And that leads me on to Interaction. Um, first of all, when you work with Interaction, you become an Action Team member. Um, this is, you've got a variety of different roles because we work with different age groups. So we have our creche, so we need like our level three qualified trained nannies. Then we've got our three to five, six to eight, nine to elevens, and um, 12 to 15. And each of the different age groups then depends what activities they get to do. So for the older children, you know, they love our, the high ropes course, the raft building, the canoeing, sports and games, all those kinds of things. And then for the um, younger ones, we have lots of themed activities, which I'll tell you about those in a moment. Um, with interaction, one of the, the greatest things about them is they love to create great first impressions. And um, for me, one of the things that I always remember is when they used to ring me up, they say, oh, Jess Weston, how are you? It was like they knew me, and they were always really interested in what I had to say and things. Um, and they just really care about their staff, and that's really nice. Um, we, as part of your job role, you have to make sure you know, we're providing the highest quality and safety standards, and that the sessions are fun. The guys that come to us, they're on ho holiday, so um, it may be, we do have some educational sessions as well, but they're primarily there for fun. We've got our resorts, we've got um, Costa del Sol, Turkey, Mallorca, 
Portugal, Lanzarote, Cyprus and many others. Um, and these are just great places to get out and work and I'm lucky enough to have been to a few. With our activities then, we do have over 86 um, types of activities. So these are all our um, activities that I already told you about, the canoe in the raft field and the high ropes. And then these are our more specialist activities and these are our themed ones. The themed activities, um, they link in with um, Play and Learn, which is also shortened to PAL, and they link in with the national curriculum. These activities here, we work alongside First Choice Holidays, and that's those holiday villages that I talked about earlier. So when people do come out of school, if they take their children, um, especially for the little ones, they go home with a little booklet and certificate and know that they have learnt something whilst they're on their holiday. Um, this is one of my favourite age groups to work with, the three to eight year olds, because it's just fabulous. You can really capture their imagination. Um, imagine if you're a five year old, six year old, and you come in and the room's decorated like pirate themed. Everyone's got the outfits on, they've got the face paint, and you're playing all these types of games. It just makes something really special for the children. Um, another great session that we do is chocolate party. Loads of fun games, they come along, um, and there's all different games with chocolate. It's just brilliant. It's a great chance for them to all come along and make friends. So with Interaction, first of all, I worked in Cyprus, um, just as a peak, um, a peak person, just in between university. And I have to say, it's one of the best training courses I've ever been on. Um, so say we'd get up in the morning, morning exercise would be at um, quarter past six, and we'd go right through till 10, 11 o'clock at night. Um, and that is to test what kind of person you are and to make sure you know, that you are adaptable to the job. Um, the training course itself, the trainers deliver what they expect of you and then you have to deliver it back. And if you're lucky enough to pass your assessment course, then you go on to a second part of training where you learn more sessions. And then if you're there for the full duration, um, there's a chance to gain qualifications such as your BSAC snorkeling award, um, your fencing and your archery. So it's a great opportunity. Um, one of the great things about it is you meet all these people and you see them when you're tired, you know, when you're sick, when they're happy and you're living in resort with these people and you make friends for life, like some of the best friends that I've got um, are from my first season which was back in 2008. So. Uh, next up I went to Egypt in Easter 2009 and this was during my third year at uni. Um, so they called me up and said, can you come to Egypt? And I was like, oh my dissertation's in, in two weeks, but I took it with me on the plane. And, um, I didn't really do much of it while I was there, but when I got back, I was frantic typing. Um, and also, I had my 21st birthday in Egypt, and it's just such a just brilliant experience to just get out and see all these things. Um, then, in summer 2009, I got to work in the Dominican Republic in one of our holiday village resorts there that we had. And that was just stunning, like such a different um, culture, way of life, just fabulous, you know, monsoons was just it was brilliant. <laughs> And then over winter 2010, um, I was in Lanzarote, and that was lovely, a nice bit of winter sunshine. And then last year in France, I had a bit of a change, and I went to work with um, Canvas Holidays, who also Interaction work with, and I'll tell you a bit about those in a moment. So as you can see here, these are some of the fantastic times I've had with Interaction in their holiday village resorts. Um, this here is the resort from Cyprus, I've got a high ropes course. Um, I got the chance to swim with dolphins, and who gets to say they do that on their day off? And also scuba diving, um, and I also went and volunteered at a local school, and this is up here, this is some of the children we used to go and work with, and there's just such a great opportunity to get out and see different things. Um, so in contrast to the First Choice Holiday Villages, we, have, um, we also work with Canvas Holidays. With Canvas Holidays, um, they're the experts in camping and caravaning, uh, caravaning across Europe. Before Canvas Holidays, I was a senior courier, so I was in charge of a team of five. Um, so I was responsible, you know, when we got to resort, I had to allocate where we would operate, where we would set up. Um, we had to do all the kit inventories and get everything ready, make sure everything was safety checked. Um, I was also then in charge of, obviously, the morning meetings and monitoring sessions and making sure my team were happy and running. Um, it was completely different to the holiday village, because obviously in France it's quite rainy, you know, it rains, it's a bit like England, especially northern France, and sometimes you'd come in and our kids' club tent would just be swamped, um, and you know, but my team, they always put a load of effort in, and it was, it was so rewarding to see that even in different weather conditions, people were still enthusiastic. Um, completely different types of uniform and everything settings compared to the holiday villages. 
This is my team here in the middle, and they were just awesome. They really supported me throughout the whole time in the summer. Um, and it was just so lovely, like, they wanted to work hard for me, and I wanted to do things to help them and encourage them. Um, and if anybody was interested, we do like to do a development plan, and I went through and helped them. One of um, our great things that we do, this is our family football session. So this is staff versus guests. Obviously, there's not many staff there. Um, but, you know, we get over 40 guests. And one of the great things that we ran that summer was Krypton Factor, like the game show. And um, we got 80 guests on that. And for me to stand there, um, knowing that my team has managed to get these 80 guests to come and, like, let us be part of their holiday, is such a rewarding um, feeling. Um, whilst I was in France, in the summer, um, I then got asked to go back and run it again over October half term. And whilst I was there, I applied for this new job, which is the UK Adventure Project Manager job. And this is like to run the school's projects that we have as well. So, you know, we work overseas and we work in the different places, but we also do actually have our own school centre, which is based on the Isle of Wight. Um, so literally, I applied for the job, and then I didn't even get to go home from France. I went straight back to the Isle of Wight kind of did a handover with the person um, and went straight into my new job role. Um, with this new job role, this, it's a brilliant opportunity for me because it's a completely a brand new job role and there's a real big chance for me to develop it and make it grow into something which I want it to be. Um, over the winter then, so I do like the sales and the bookings, the admin, the paperwork. Um, I've currently be been developing some new resources, um, some new sessions, and it's just a chance to you know, get out and research what's out there. Um, then through the summer, um, I'll be running my own small team again, running the centre. The school groups will be coming down now, but they'll be getting involved. Um, me personally, I'm quite a hands-on manager. I like to be out and about. Um, I like to know people know that, you know, I'm in charge and it's all running smoothly and they can come to me. Um, and it's just brilliant. There's so many things that we can get out and do. Um, at the moment, we're currently moving centres, so I'm trying to organise where all my new equipment's going to go, all my storage and like liaising with the new centre managers and things. Um, but it's just such an exciting thing for interaction, and we really want to grow and make our product become fantastic. Um, as you can see there, it does say about the legislation, and that's something that we're really, um, you know, we really care about our interaction. We want it to be health and safety conscious. We want it to be, um, you know, all of these things. And as a result, I've been getting to go to, like, the Baja conference and new meetings and getting to meet new people and see what's actually out there in the industry and how we can develop as a company. Um, for the future, you know, we really want to continue providing an excellent standard of service, um, making these holidays that these children come on the best. Like, I really believe in experiential education. And for me, if you can provide that really un unique, exciting opportunity for someone as a child, that goes on to help them and become the person that they um, grow up to be. Uh, as with our centre, we would like it to be, um, you know, associated with Baja and learning outside the classroom. Um, and as a result, you know, we're really investigating those kinds of things. For me personally, um, I just want to make this job role, you can, I can just mould it and there's all different sections so apart from our schools projects you know I'm also looking into community projects and other ways in which we can develop within the industry. Um, one of the best things about this job is it's so rewarding so say if I've been working with children and they've been on holiday for two weeks and at the end of it they come up to you and they say like oh Jess you know I've had such a great time and they make you a little picture or their mum comes up and gives you a hug and says you've made our holiday special. That to me makes everything worthwhile, like all the hard work that you put in. It is long hours, it is tiring, um, you are on the go all the time, but when someone comes up and says you've made their holiday special or their school experience, you know, amazing, um, it makes it really worthwhile. This is our lovely senior management team there. Does anyone have any questions? What you've actually done with your career, you, you, you seem to be motivated initially by the reward you got from working with young people. Yeah. So that was very much your job. You're now uh, relatively office-based and perhaps moving away from what you originally enjoyed. How are you finding that transition? Um, it is quite difficult. Sometimes I look out the window and I'll be like, ooh, and I go outside for a little wonder. But then again, um, on the other side, I love organising and um, making it my own. And to see it then running in action because of the team that I've created, that's, that works for me as well. And uh, did you expect to be doing the kind of role you're doing now quite so quickly after graduating? No. When you asked me to come and do this talk about my career, I thought, oh, I'm only 22. Like, it's quite, 
quite scary to say right, my career in the outdoors so far. And obviously it's a bit different, it's more active leisure. Um, but you know, I'm, I feel really proud to have got to where I have and without the support of the university that I went to and without the staff and the development at Interaction, um, I, I wouldn't be in this job role today, so brilliant.